welcome to the Super Game Super Show. Uh, it's me, Chris, here tonight with um, some more IndyCar featuring Nigel Mansell. Now, I had a bit of a cock up with recording. That's my excuse. I'm going to stick to it. So today we're going to be doing uh, like uh, sort of like commentary or commentary. Sorry, commentary uh, over the race because I mixed the audio channels down and you can hardly hear me. Uh, and because I mixed them down, I couldn't separate them again like I usually do, so we won't be doing that again. So here we are, race 5, Portland. And there was a brief description there that I did not read to you because I'm not very good at reading. I'm not going to set up the car, you see, we'll go straight into the practice. Uh, no, we won't. We'll skip practice. We'll go qualifying. And I can sort of, uh, after racing it for 13 laps, or 10 laps the races, I can sort of talk you through it. So it's going to be a rolling start to the race, and here we go down the start-finish with the pit straight. And we're going to go through some real fast chicanes here. I can take faster than this, but I don't. So we go through the chicanes, come down to this, uh, this um, should be banked bend right at the back there. It's slower than it looks. And then if you can get up the throttle nice and late, turn out here. This is quite fast. Use all the road and then get back over to the left. Left, Chris. <laughs> For this sweeping right, which is sharper than it looks. If you don't get all the way on that left, you're not going to make that good. This one, flat out, under the bridge. Now, uh, you've got a little way of straight, excuse me, a bit of a hay fever coming through here. That's quite fast. You can take it faster as long as you get back on the left and then right over tight to the right, as tight as you can next to those uh, lamp posts. And we'll be out right, coming out of turn. Oh, God, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. That'll turn six. <laughs> six turn race and into lap two. And we repeat. I'm getting a bit more used to the hairpin there. A bit offline, but there we go. Um, and we're coming round this one again. Do I hit the wall on this? Yeah, look at that. Bang, straight into the wall. Just catches you off guard if you're not on the brakes early enough and then on the gas again as you're coming out the corner, just like you would in a real car. <laughs> Oh, I must stop sniffing, I'm sorry. And uh, here we go, across the back straight, round this fast corner. Hang it on the right, on the right, Chris. On the right, and then left, 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 left. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I do try and get it nice and close, but you just see it just tightens there. Starts as a nice general corner and just tightens back on itself a bit. I don't think you see that in the pixely sort of... I can sort of see it in the map at the bottom there. So we go. And we've qualified first in the positions. That's pretty freaking good. We're happy with that. Uh, Nigel looks pr plenty happy, I suppose. Oh, excuse me. Give myself a brief second to sniff. Oh, I hope that didn't come through the microphone and make you barf all over your uh, laptop keyboards. Or uh, Here we go. Here's the grid positions with uh, me up front. Delucia, second, Farnsworth, Farnstein, Johnson, Franklin, Samsuski, Stevens, Andretti, you bastard, Blade, and someone else, I didn't see him, Blade, that's a good name, start your engines, here we go, rolling start, first position is starting middle of the road with two cars flanking you, which I hate, because look, immediately they get around me, I got boosted up the caboose there by third place, I think, so I got a shift on, and immediately I've got these two corners totally wrong. But I've, I've pulled the lead out of it. I don't know there's mid-fighting back there in the back sections, but the computer can seem to nail these corners, well, as they should, perfectly every time. So, as you see, this uh, commanding lead won't last for too long, especially if you start nailing lampposts on the way around. It's not good practice. Uh, I muck up my brake in here. Shouldn't have broke for that corner, but did. I seem to remember. This is I only did this last night, but you know. And then stack it straight into this wall. Oh, did I? No. No, I was just amazed at how much uh, speed they can carry through that tightening of that corner. But uh, there you go, it dems the brakes. Game a second position back here after almost a whole lap in the lead. Don't often see that unless it's the uh, oval races. I'm pretty good at them. And I uh, start trying to chase down first place here, but as you can see, I'm just not getting some of these corners perfect closer to that wall I would call that close to perfect but obviously not because Delucia got down the inside there I'm assuming that's Delucia uh, and back on here coming at the back straight well I'm not going to do a full on 
corner by corner commentary you can see pretty much what's happening I'll, I'll interrupt every time there's something interesting happening so uh, updates with the super game super show I haven't done a few videos recently because uh, basically because me and Sam are lazy but there you go we don't get paid for it so uh, no complaining free entertainment if you can call it that just endurance for anyone that watches this especially this show I know Sam's getting on quite well with the uh, I was going to say pillars of eternity there but uh I am getting on quite well with that, and so Sam. Uh, but we haven't recorded that. What's he playing? Eternal Darkness. There we go. What are we on? Episode 23 by now? 24? I don't know. I think, I think I stopped watching around 20. I need to pick him back up again. But uh, yeah, that's going pretty good. I'm I'm A-OK -okay for any game with a psych meter. Even this game, if you could go slightly insane because of Andretti taking all your positions. And, uh, as you see, we, we drop down to fourth, but we take we take third back again but this green bastard's going to get me every time it's coming out of turn 6 oh, yeah it's straight on the grass every time L lose a ton of positions and this is where in the video originally I'm screaming Andretti because <laughs> I think it's him in the red car there but I don't think it is I think it's someone else couldn't tell you who there's not that much detail in this game wish there was I wish they had different coloured cars maybe because I mean our car's great that's fine so that leaves an, you know, an extra colour in the spectrum Ah, uh, and we're not doing well. Look, nailed against the wall again. Position sixth. Right now, I'm screaming, tearing the keys out of the keyboard, because this guy won't get out of my freaking road. So yeah, uh, you can expect some upcoming content pretty soon with uh, me and Sam. Maybe get some verses going again because we like them, especially uh, Mount Your Friends. I uh, that was a particularly entertaining game. If you like uh, big floppy cocks, which let's face it, who doesn't? And uh, uh, as for a couple of people are saying, where's your ZX Spectrum games? And a couple of people, I mean me, myself, and Sam. <laughs> that I promised. I'm actually having a bit of a problem uh, recording the ZX Spectrum. I can play it, record it, fine. But if you didn't know, on the ZX Spectrum, there's a little beep speaker on the bottom of the keyboard which uh, I'm finding it hard to record uh, sound coming from that so I mean the speaker isn't the be all and end all but it is just a silent video a bit like this one if uh, if you haven't got the beep noises <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna try and rectify that I'm gonna try and do a bit of an audio mod and put an audio jack in the back from the beep speaker so at least we can have the beeps being recorded in full beautiful beep sound would that be nice so that's where the ZX Spectrum's got I've, I've been doing a lot with uh, into the pits, or I get the pits totally wrong, look, I'm parked in the middle of the pits get to the side you fool yes you so I probably, that's lost a position or two in so. still uh, as you can see the feverish guys, there's guys on the other side of the car as well, you just can't see them So maybe he gets his toes run over every time, I keep telling him but never mind. so not exceeding the spit limit spit limit, speed limit down the pit straight, which we did about nine times in a row last video. If you're cast your minds back that far, so uh, we get out in pretty good position. Actually, we've we've gained a position going through the pits, which is pretty amazing. We overtake some sort of backbencher nobody, but he <laughs> it then proves his worth by absolutely slamming us in the face. Anyway, yeah, I got some more retro game uh, news. I've pulled out my Commodore 64 from the loft. Uh, only because my mum gave me a giant box and said, I'm scrapping all these music tapes. You know, I said, they're not music tapes, they're Commodore 64 tapes. I was like, yes. So I got all them, dug them out, dusted them off, checking for all the good ones. But I've been working with that quite a lot. I'm going to bring you some video of uh, the old Commodore 64 because it's one of my faves. Uh, so look out for them when I can get off my ass. I'm having to record them through the EasyCap device on my laptop at the minute, so uh, there's a bit of problem with bothering to transfer them backwards and forwards. Uh, and next up, I recently obtained a GoTech USB emulator for my Amiga 500, which is going rather well. Uh, I tried to do a uh, sort of tutorial video on that. But uh, my Amiibo 1200 sort of uh, started packing up a little bit towards the end of that, so I had to uh, convert it and put it onto my Amiga 500. It's not something I wanted to do, but I've got to admit that the 500 does take up a lot less room and uh, doesn't impact quite so much on my 
desk space. So let's get back to the race. Uh, as you can see here, we're on the grass as we usually are. In third position, lap seven, three to go. Andre is nowhere to be seen. Was that him? Probably not. It was probably Delarusa. Uh, oh, it wasn't anyone. Some backbench fool, slow driving bastard, got in my way. Uh, coming up to lap eight now. Two two laps to go. I should imagine the leaders are going to finish a whole lap ahead of us. In fact, I know that because I raced this yesterday. Oh, God, I've been talking non stop for about five seconds now. Come on, five seconds. Five, ten minutes. Jesus Christ, it's more than I like to talk to anyone. Excuse me, exaggerated slope, so you know what I'm doing. Drinking water. Honest. It's Monday, after all. Here we are. Oh, so that's uh, pretty much catching up with all the retro game news I've got. Uh, I've got a funky new controller, which I was trying to show off as well. The uh, uh, Competition Pro, or is it Zipstick? No, it's a Compro, Compro. Um, Flight Yoke, which I'm rather happy with. I'll be trying to show that off with the Amiga GoTech video, but... Uh, as I previously said, that didn't go well. I'm finding it really hard to record on a handheld camera and then screen capture devices and then, you know, the audio as well that you have to do over the top of the camera because the camera audio is terrible. And they are, oh boy, is it confusing trying to piece that together, especially when every time you tried to play a game, it didn't actually work. So that was uh, an entertaining video to make and then realized that, oh yeah, another thing that happened is uh, I've got a new mic. don't know if you can tell. I've got a bit of a bunged up nose as well, so you're probably saying, oh, it's bassy, but no, it's just me being nasally. Um, yeah, I had to get a new mic, because I recorded about two videos as well with my uh, old microphone buzzing. So I, I listened to it back myself and thought, oh, it's not, not very nice. I <laughs> can't put up with that, so having to well, not re-record, I just got bored, as you see, look, uh, someone has finished the race ahead of me and so we're just fighting for third with no way we're going to catch up with second look seconds just coming around the track now oh, seconds in we know we've got people right on our ass the low fuel light warning is going off in my face surely they've timed it right and we're going to get in and not get overtaken on this corner I've got to take this corner well so close to the grass speed up because they're on the inside of it there's no working mirrors on this game just realize that I've been playing a lot of room where there is working mirrors and there we go we're finishing third points for me and ready up for you bastard uh farnsworth and then me 14 points for our championship standings which are do -do 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 -do. Here we go, Andre up front with 94 points. Me trailing behind with 75. That gap getting bigger and bigger. But Farnsworth's right on my heels. And DeRosa on his, but 10 points apiece. In fact, under 10 points between me and Farnsworth. So. And the team championship standings is is pretty good. Newman Huss. 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 Still up front. So there we go. We're doing our team proud, at least. And uh, one of those mustachio bastards is me. Fantastic guy. I like to think I'm the guy in the green. And as ever, there's my password if you want to play along. Uh, sorry about the audio on this video. I promise you it won't happen again. You won't have to listen to me just trying to think about what I said last time and babble about it again. So uh, thanks for joining me on the Super Game Super Show. This has been IndyCar featuring Nigel Mansell for the Sega Mega Drive. Oh, is it Mas yeah, Mega Drive. Yeah, sorry. And good night.